Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this tutorial we will learn how to create nested menu using Angular material. So without delaying let's get started. I've created a folder. I'll just copy the path of this folder and paste it in Node.js command prompt. After that let us create our Angular application using the command ng new angular hyphen nested hyphen menu. Yes, let us choose CSS and then wait until the installation process is completed. Once the installation is completed, let us go to Visual Studio Code and just open the application in which we are going to work. So this is our application Angular Nested Menu app. We'll go to Terminal, New Terminal and here we'll add the Angular material. For that we'll give ng, oh, why it is getting typed here. Okay, let me go to the terminal once again. New terminal. Now let's give the command ng add at the rate angular material. Give yes. Let's wait until the packages are installed. We'll go with indigo pink. Just give yes. So packages are installed successfully. Let us run our application. For that we'll give the command ng serve. So just copy this localhost path and let us go to browser and paste it here. So you can see that our Angular application is running perfectly fine. Next, let's go back to our terminal and we'll create a new component. Let us give the command ng g generate c component menu hyphen body. So 
So we are done with creating the component. After creating the component, let's go to app module.ts file and there we will import mat menu module and mat button module. So import mat menu module from angular material menu. Add this mat menu module inside the imports. Next, import mat button module from angular material button. Again, add this mat button module over here. Save it. Now we'll go to app.component.html file and we'll just remove the unwanted code. Let us keep the router outlet here. Let us open the terminal. Now let us go to the menu body component.html file. There we'll create our menu home about and contact for that we'll give the button tag and inside that we'll just give math button we'll give the text home i'll just copy this and change the name as about and contact Now let's run the application and check in the browser. So now if you take in the browser, nothing is appearing. No home about or contact text in the page. It is because of the routing. For that we'll go to app routing model.ts file and there we'll import our menu body component. Inside this, we have to give the path. We'll give the path. You have to give app hyphen and the component name that is menu hyphen body. Component, menu body component. Next, again we'll give the path and here we'll give redirect to app menu body. Path match will give full. Now again, if you go to the browser, you can see the menu home, about, and contact. So if you find this app menu body is too long, you can change the name to menu here. And the last change which you have to do is you have to go to the menu body component.ts file and there for the selector, you have to give the name menu. So here you can see in the browser, it changed to menu. Now we'll create the nested menu. First, let us give a drop down icon the about menu. So, for that, I'll just give the i tag with the class material icons.
text as arrow underscore drop underscore down. If you check in the browser, it is coming on the left hand side. So let us fix that. I'll just give div and keep the about an icon inside the div tag. So now the icon has come to the right hand side, but it is just misaligned. Uh, I'll just give a span to about text. But the div tag will give the class realign center. Just copy this class, we'll go to the CSS file and there we'll give the class name and we'll give the CSS display inline flex and align item center. Let's check in the browser. So now the about and the icon is aligned properly. Next thing is like on click of the about menu, like we should see the options. So to achieve the nested menu, we'll use mat menu trigger for. Inside the button, we'll give mat menu trigger for and we'll give the name of the menu that is about. After that, we'll create mat menu. Inside that mat menu, we'll give hash uh, the name of the the name which we have given for mat menu trigger for that is about. We'll give that about here. Rolls to we'll give mat menu. And inside that, we'll create a button. Let us give mat menu item. And text, let us give services. I'll just copy and paste this and change the name as partners. So now if you go to the browser and check, on click of about, we have services and partner. Now for services, if you want some more menus or options for that, we can do the same thing. Like for the services button, we'll use mat menu trigger for and there we'll give services. Again, we'll create mat. Give the hash symbol, the name services equals to mat menu. Then inside that you can give the options as per your requirement. We'll give button mat menu item. Service one, first one. Then I'll just copy and paste the same thing and I'll just change the name as 2345. So if you hover on the services, you can see the list of the options. You can do the same thing for partners as well if you want. Let us quickly do that. So since it is a nested menu, so again for service one, if you want to display some menu items, you have to follow the same process. Like for the service one button, you have to use mad menu trigger for, then you have to give the name. Here I am giving serve item. And again, you have to create a mat menu. Inside the mat menu, you have to give the has symbol and write the serve item equals to mat menu. And inside that, you can give the options using the button tag.
This way we can create the nested menu items in Angular material. With this we have completed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do let me know your feedback in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye.